Hey everyone. Welcome back to channel. Today, we're exploring an essential aspect of the pharmaceutical industry, environmental monitoring, or EM. What is environmental monitoring in pharma? Environmental monitoring is a systematic approach used in the pharmaceutical industry to assess the cleanliness and quality of manufacturing environments. It helps identify and control microbial contamination risks in controlled areas, especially where sterile products are made. Through EM, companies continuously evaluate the environmental conditions in which drugs are produced. This proactive approach helps ensure products remain safe for patients, key objectives of environmental monitoring. First, it helps detect any microbial contamination early, allowing manufacturers to respond promptly. Second, it helps verify that cleaning and sanitation practices are effective. And third, it provides essential data for regulatory compliance, as governing bodies require documentation proving that companies control the manufacturing environment, main areas monitored in EM, let's talk about the main areas monitored in environmental monitoring, as outlined by GMP, air quality monitoring, one of the biggest focuses in EM is air quality monitoring. Airborne particles and microbes can easily contaminate products, so companies use active and passive air sampling to measure contamination levels. Active air sampling uses devices to draw air over nutrient plates, while passive sampling involves settle plates left out in the environment. After incubation, these plates reveal the types and numbers of microbes present in the air, surface monitoring, surfaces in a clean room, like benches, walls, and even tools, are tested regularly to ensure they remain free from microbes. This is done using contact plates or swabs to collect samples, which are then analyzed for any microbial growth. This is crucial because even clean-looking surfaces can harbor microbes. Personnel monitoring, another essential part of EM is personnel monitoring. People are one of the biggest sources of contamination, so monitoring staff is vital. Contact plates are used on gloves, gowns, and sometimes even face shields to check for any contamination. This ensures personnel follow aseptic techniques and that any breaches in protocol are quickly corrected. Water quality monitoring, in the pharmaceutical industry, water is widely used, especially in drug formulation, cleaning, and sterilization. Water quality monitoring checks for bacterial endotoxins, microbial contaminants, and specific pathogens in water systems. Water samples are collected and tested frequently to ensure they meet stringent quality standards. Steps in the EM process, risk assessment. First, companies perform a risk assessment to identify areas with high contamination potential. This helps prioritize sampling locations and methods, sampling and testing. Next, regular sampling is done, covering air, surfaces, water, and personnel. Samples are then incubated to detect any microbial growth, data analysis and trending, collected data is analyzed over time to spot trends. If there's a pattern of increased contamination, corrective actions are taken to address potential risks, corrective and preventive actions, when contamination is detected, companies investigate the source and implement corrective and preventive actions to prevent recurrence. Documentation, lastly, documentation is crucial. Maintaining accurate records is not just good practice but also a regulatory requirement, as this data provides evidence that the manufacturing environment is controlled. Why is environmental monitoring essential? At its core, EM protects patients by ensuring the medicines they take are manufactured in a safe, contamination-free environment. This monitoring program is also fundamental to comply with regulatory standards set by agencies like the FDA and EMA, which require robust contamination control programs. Summary of key points. To sum it up, environmental monitoring involves monitoring air, surfaces, water, and personnel to detect contamination risks. It includes various methods like active and passive air sampling, surface swabs, and water testing. The data gathered allows companies to identify trends and take preventive action, ensuring product safety and regulatory compliance, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.